Um, first of all, let me say how I'm really used to actually be here in the West and celebrating Suma. <coughs> and also to see some uh, familiar faces from the West that I haven't seen for a long time. Good to see you guys. The managing directors, uh, Justin Ho, Mr. Mirza, Stephen, Clive Bucks, Victoria Bucks of uh, Sub Zero Cafe and Car Wash. Managing directors, Arthur Small and Krista Poker of, of Kukat's uh, uh, Bar and Bar Shop, Family and Fits, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, Bulubana, and a very good evening to all of you. It's my pleasure to be here today to officiate at the opening uh, of this very innovative business. And this venture can be praised, ladies and gentlemen, as an achievement of young, budding business entrepreneurs put together by a circle of friends. And I think COVID has actually shown us a lot in terms of this kind of uh, creativity. Firstly, I'd like to congratulate Stephen and uh, Tatiya and Arthur and Justin and Crystal for establishing not one, but three shops uh, in Denver: Sub-Zero Cafe and Car Wash and Crew Cuts and the Bar Bar Shop. And these outlets, ladies and gentlemen, will, will no doubt add value uh, and make Denra a more attractive uh, package for locals and tourists. And uh, me for one, yes, of course, I can't wash my car, get your hair cut, and have a coffee at the same time, most definitely. In recent days, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've actually celebrated the ac accomplishments of young Fijians who have um, harnessed and furthered their entrepreneurial journey despite the setbacks from the pandemic. And as your government, it is our priority to create a more conducive and enabling environment and a business friendly environment, whether you're actually a micro entrepreneur or a large business. We need the private sector to take advantage of the incentives that are available and invest more. And whether it's funding opportunities or tax reforms or training or learning opportunities, we encourage you to take advantage of all of that. We have actually got a dedicated team at the ministry. MSME Fiji that has been established to support the development of all our MSMEs in Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fijian government is actually committed uh, to creating opportunities for all our youth. Uh, with the recent budget initiatives that was passed in Parliament just this week, the focus actually continues on, on educating our youth and nurturing them to become job creators instead of job seekers. Ministry also will begin to roll out our MSME uh, grant programs very soon, so please keep a lookout for that. Ladies and gentlemen, there are many things that we can learn from a very tight knitted circle of friends. And which a lasting business must and, and can be built on friendship, and most importantly on trust. And I'm told that uh, 10 Fijians will be employed through this venture, securing a source of employment for some young Fijians and who want to be part of the service industry. And I encourage you also to take advantage of the, of the Stronger Together Job Support Scheme. I also applaud these young entrepreneurs for venturing into this investment uh, to the tune of about $40,000 to establish a quite an impressive space uh, and provide a diverse number of services to the general community. But for me, the most impressive thing is the motorcycle sitting <laughs> I'm not sure if you did that for me, but that's a good, good sign. As a, as a business uh, fixed to its mission of creating a memorable experience for everyone within a friendly atmosphere, uh, it's business like Sub Zero Cafe, Car Wash, and Blue Cuts Barber Shop, which give young businesses, business owners, a zeal to excel and be drivers of positive change in our society. So I commend you, all of you, for establishing the first barbershop on Denra Island and displaying the talents we have in the personal care services. So industry and whilst providing your actual community this particular important service. We need more enterprising young Fijians to inspire others to step into the area of starting a business, a business close to their heart, and a business which is for their family and for the community. And through ventures like these, not only are you supporting the livelihoods, you're also motivating young Fijians to contribute uh, to our economy. I want to also tell you that we've 
we've got such a huge amount of tourists actually coming back into our country. We need to take advantage of that. You know, one of the most important things to any person in the world is making sure that they've got a good haircut. It's a good place to start. Before you travel, before you go to school, before you do anything, the hair takes importance. So remember that there are a lot of tourists around the world, you know. Give them a great feature and they come through. Give them our traditional hospitality, great feature and service, and you see them coming in through the, in droves. And you know, a lot of tourists that come to Fiji come by way of uh, word of mouth. You know, they'll tell them, look, we're going to how you can do this. And I met these young people who will have a great barbershop, a great coffee, whatever it is. It's a small thing. But it's actually a big thing. It matters. Word of mouth actually carries carries a lot. Uh, and you know, we've got <coughs> the more uh, traditional uh, uh, numbers are greater from Australia. Uh, so you will you'll find a lot of Australians are interested in such things. So best of luck to you, to all of you. And uh, with those few words, ladies and gentlemen, I once again congratulate Stephen and Steve and Arthur and Dustin and, and Crystal on his new business journey. And uh, looking forward to a great haircut one of these days when I'm back here soon. Thank you very much for having me. Two and three. Yay! Good job. So, welcome to the formalities of Sub Zero Cafe, Car Wash, and Crew Cuts Barbershop.